All right, so our monitors now take us to Atlanta. The state election board there is holding a hearing. It's pretty fiery there. It's about a potential new rule that some worry could wreak havoc on upcoming elections. That board calling for poll workers to hand count one by one thousands of votes. They say the intention is to make sure that what the machines count matches the hand count. And here's the big part of this. They want it done before certifying the vote in that state. Here's just some of what local leaders had to say in some pretty emotional comments about this last minute policy change. Listen. What this rule means is that election staff, many of whom are here today, are wedged into an ever more crushing situation of needing to perform superhuman feats under rules that make it virtually impossible for them to do their job. There is unprecedented scrutiny on even the most minor of human missteps in our elections, and Georgians know that all too well. I'm sure there are many in this room who believe the drumbeat lie that there was widespread fraud in the 2020 election, who will think you're fighting for honesty and transparency. But given that the system we have has been proven over and over and over again to be free of any systematic fraud and all but the most trivial and innocent irregularities, your moves instead are promoting chaos, election worker distress, and voter anxiety. Now is simply not the time to implement sweeping changes that could create unnecessary confusion and disruption. As recent history shows, election changes made in the final stage often becomes the focal points of post-election controversy. Okay, so let's drill down on this. CBS News campaign reporter and attorney Katrina Kaufman watching this story from where she is assigned as post in Michigan right now. Katrina, what is this all about? So, Reed, there has been a lot of attention on this Georgia State Election Board recently. They had previously passed two rules that have been causing a lot of people to pay attention because it would basically give local election authorities more of a way to delay certification if they think that there's a reasonable inquiry into the election results. We're now contending with this new rule about hand counting and they're actually considering 11 different rules today. They've now passed this hand counting rule which as you were playing many people spoke today to that board before they made this decision and just talked about the toll that this could take on poll workers, on the burden of this. Someone was saying, you know, how are you going to fund this? And also just talking about the exhaustion of election day and how this just adds so much time to it. They're gonna need time to rest. There's just so many elements to think about. Um, interestingly, the board also weighed a rule about early, about hand counting of early voting and they decided to table that. That was a 4-1 vote, but they are going to be hand counting ballots in Georgia unless something changes here. Um, it's also worth noting that the state's attorney general told them that it might not be lawful for them to make this change. And the board's chair actually said this during today's session. He said that he doesn't think that they have the statutory authority to do this. It's something that should be weighed by the legislature, not this state election board. Um, and the meeting is going to continue today and I may be able to report back with what else happens. Why do I have a feeling this story is going to jump over the calendar and revisit us on Monday? Katrina, thank you so much for that update. We'll continue to keep our eye on that story for sure.